How are you doing today, Coach? Good. Good to be here. Good to be here. And only a couple of days away from game day. How are we feeling about that? Um, we just count down the days till it's time to kind of um, jump into our, you know, um, away game type of routine. So, you know, we just count down the days. You know, so practice has been going good. Today was an early day for us. So, you know, uh, we already got practice behind us. So, you know, just finish out the day, you know, and kind of kind of stay on the routine for tomorrow. Um, so I know we've talked frequently about how you guys been like preparing in the off season for game one. So can you just give me just more on the emotional side? Um, how is everything feeling like as far as being in this position and a bigger stage than last time and just all the attention you guys are getting going forward? I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely something that's good for the program, but I think um, the most things that we emphasize to the guys is just that it's the most important game because it's the next game. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's not a lot of, you know, um, necessarily hoopla in the locker room or anything like that. Them guys are preparing like they normally would. So, um, but, it's, but it's hard to not pay attention to the fact that, that you're going to be on the NFL network, that, that, that you're going to be spotlighted like we are. So, you know, we're going to take advantage of that. But the way you take advantage of that is to go out there and play your best ball. So how do you emphasize that mentality to keep them, you know, on a business mindset? Because this mm. is basically like a business trip. So how do you, like, keep them focused so they're not too excited going into the game? Well, if you've been around here um, long enough, you've been with me long enough, they know exactly what the expectations are. You know, and I think um, with this group, the expectation are, expectations are kind of passed down. So, you know, the, um, the guys that have been here passed the expectation down to the new guys. So, you know, but um, it's business as usual for us. It's not a lot of, lot of things that we're going to change and, we're just going to take the show on the road to Ohio. So then what are some of those things that you're looking forward to as far as, you know, just game day, like things you've missed throughout the season? Um, just, the opportunity, just the opportunity to play. I think that's the biggest thing when you come out of camp. You know, you kind of been going against yourself for about a month's time. So now it's time to kind of go against somebody else. So I think it, 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 that'll be good just to kind of see all our guys kind of, kind of rally up and, and – and get prepared to play against somebody else. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that most. And, of course, all the pageantry that, that comes with, with it being game day and, and everything. You know, um, I'm one of those guys, even from the time I was a player, you know, um, I just love the, the, the preparation part, you know, and I'm falling in love with the preparation. So, you know, all of that is, is good for us. But getting to game day, you know, if you prepare right, it, it'll just kind of be next next step for us. Um, so moving forward into the game, how critical will it be for you guys to rely on those returners, considering the fact that they have a little bit more experience on this level of gameplay? I think it, you know, um, if you're, pl you're pl putting any type of position for us to get out there and, and, and you give an opportunity to play, you know, um, you have a responsibility. That's what we talk about, play for 11. Whenever you touch the field, you have a job. You know, so I think no matter who touches the field, whether it be a, a new guy, a quote-unquote new guy or you know, quote unquote, older guy, you know, I think everybody's going to be prepared and everybody's going to know what job they have to do. So then can we expect to see a little bit of balance then on the field going forward to Morehouse? See a couple mm. more guys out there? Um, not, I mean, it's, it's no particular plan to mm. say, you know what, we're going to get this guy this chance or this guy that chance, you know, um, we're going to do whatever we have to do to win. You know, whoever has to play or whatever we have to do to put people in position and give us the best chance to win, that's what we're going to do. So it's no, no kind of set out plan of who's going to play or how this is going to go like that. You know, um, whatever we have to do to win, that's what we're going to do. How are you feeling about game one from your perspective? Excited. I feel excited. Yeah. I feel excited to go finally go against someone that doesn't wear the same helmet as me. Mm -hmm. I feel excited to get back out there, start the season, uh, start this journey over to eventually get to where we want to be at the end of the year. I feel excited to play with my team. I feel excited to play in front of the TV. I'm just excited, honestly. Yeah, very exciting opportunity. Yes, so then how do you keep yourself checked? How do you keep yourself in business mode when you're getting in, you know, rushed That's and excited a good one. for those moments? I tend to be a very emotional person. Some, some of my coaches call me animated. Yeah. So I try my heart. I just, I just talk to my teammates, stay level-headed, mm -hmm. talk to my mom, understand that it's a game and you got to, do different things to lead up to the game. So I try to make sure I know I'm going to practice every day preparing and trying to get better so I can make sure when we get on that field, it's all polished up. So do you feel like you're polished and ready to go? Are you ready for game one? Yes, ma'am. I yeah. feel like, honestly, I honestly might can play tomorrow, but, mm -hmm. you know, it's a team sport. So I understand that as a team, we're going to get the, the little uh, the, this and that together so we can just make the points, the lead even bigger. Right. That's all we is right now to focus on, just trying to make sure we, we look good. But it's week one, so we understand that mistakes will happen. Mental state, we have some guys that probably haven't, might not play on the stage yet, so things might happen. So we understand that, but 
It's okay though. Week one, that it comes with the territory. Yeah, it does. It does. It does. So then, for your from your perspective, what are you most excited about with this team? Salem. On and off the field. Salem at the end of the year. That's always what I'm excited for going into the season mm -hmm. since I've been a freshman. You know, that's what this team. You know, last year's team we didn't get the opportunity. We feel short. So now it's time to try it again. That's why I said, like I said earlier, that I'm excited to start this journey over. Excited to start with this guys, with these group of guys, and a lot of group of guys, a lot of guys came here because of what we did last year. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, we give them a reason to why and some more guys can come, mm -hmm. get this job done. Off the field, just the bond, just you know, the, these are guys that I'm gonna know for the rest of my life. So I'm excited to really just build a relationship with them. Because these are guys from different environments, different walks of life, stuff like that. Yeah. It's always good to have when you in college. That's why people come to college mm -hmm. to experience different, you know, different people, different geographic places they from, mm -hmm. things like that. So then, what is your role going forward into this season? Like, has that changed for you from last season, or is it just kind of the same? With my position, with me being the position I am, mm -hmm. my role will always be to like, be a leader especially of my guys, my five guys on the line with me in my group, in my room. Mm -hmm. It's always a role of me being a leader and to show these guys, like, even when we're on the field, sometimes they might know not know where to go. I have to be the one to tell them, you got to go here, got to go there. So that's honestly, and especially since I'm getting older now, Junior, been playing for a while. It's definitely just a leadership role that I'm trying to take on, mm -hmm. help the guy, the young guys, got a lot of groups of freshmen, a big group of freshmen there. So... And what would be your personal goals then going into the season, just to start off and just leave your mark? Personally, mm -hmm. my goal is to make sure I keep my, like I said, I can be an emotional person. Mm -hmm. Just keep my emotions settled. Never get, don't get too high. Don't get too low in the moments. I got a tendency to do that sometimes. So personally, I just want to make sure I'm just there for my guys so every game, every the whole game, just trying to make sure I just keep my head on straight. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right, and how are you feeling going yeah. into game one? I'm feeling great. I'm excited. Like, I'm looking forward to it. You know, mm -hmm. very excited. What are you excited. looking forward to? Just playing and just being back on the field. It's been, it's been a while, so, like, mm -hmm. just looking forward to being back out there and having fun and running around playing. You're a transfer senior. Tell us a little bit about that. Like, how does it feel coming in, learning what you need to learn, and now you're going into game one? I uh, know. It feels great. Uh, I came in in the spring. Mm -hmm. So um, I had a whole spring under my belt before going into this season and going into camp. So I feel great now that I, I experienced that spring and then I, I got to improve throughout camp and I feel feel great about going into game one. So then can you tell us what your progression has been like in camp? Well, my progression in camp has been great. It's just really just, you know, getting the plays down packed and getting everything, getting my assignments down packed and, you know, getting to know the guys and know my brothers a lot more. So that's that's been fun and that's been very exciting and everything. Since you're a senior, um, do you feel like there's still like a leadership role position that you have on this team? Uh, yeah, somewhat. Even even though I'm a transfer, I still feel like I have to lead, whether this is it's vocal or by example. I mostly lead by example, though. I'm not really a rah rah kind of guy, but I mostly just lead by what I do on and off the field. And have you thought about what this impact is for you know your senior season? Like, what kind of impact do you want to bring going into it? Uh. I mean, I just want to go out there and, you know, play my best ball and play, you know, do what I usually do, do what I know I can do, and um, just give it my all, really. There's no really anything specific. It's just give it my all, you know. All right, then. Thank you very much for yeah, your time. Yeah, no problem. No problem. How are you feeling about your progression from camp into gay one? Um, feel, feel good about it. I know I've been taking the steps I need to take to prepare myself for the game, so I think I'm in pretty good shape. Any differences from last season? Um, I think I've matured a whole lot. Uh, I, you know, handled my mental aspect of it, but I think that's definitely take a huge leap forward in the right direction. What are those, some of those things that maybe you want to give us, like, examples about your mental state? Um, not getting down on myself when I make a mistake. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of letting the last, le next, next play keep that mentality. Has that also affected the way you play on the field? Have you been forming pretty well, in your opinion? I think I've been doing pretty well, just not getting stuck on the, the bads and stacking the good on good. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking forward to in game one? 
Um, just playing with my, my brothers, you know. It's been a minute, so just getting back out there with them, seeing how everybody does. I'm excited. Um, I'm sorry, but can you just give me just a little bit more detail? Like, what is it about? Is it is it the on-the-road journey that you're going to be most everything. excited for? Yeah, everything. Just, just all the experience, whether it's on the bus, you know, traveling as we – the meals, pregame meals. So being actually in the game, all of that, just every little bit of it is some – it's fun. It's fun to be around everybody. And what are you expecting? What are you expecting your team to really showcase while you guys are out at Morehouse? Uh, like, what kind of mark are you gonna expect you guys to leave? We're gonna be ourselves. You know, let everyone know why why they invited us to come play. Mm -hmm. You know, so just just being ourselves, playing our ball game, and letting our play do the talking. Okay. And then, can you just give me a moment from camp that you want, like, you recall? that um, you would say was just a good play game, something that you know you just want to follow up on, just keep giving more reps into for uh, the game? It's nothing specific. I think everything that we're doing, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying every bit of it, whether it's me in, me, I'm not in, just everything that we're doing, I'm enjoying. So I can't single one thing out. OK. And then anything else you want to work on as far as throughout the game season? Um, I think it's nothing specific I can say. I think that we all have something to work on. So I think every day, whatever that is, figuring it out and just improving on it. Okay. Thank you very much for your time.